Westwork Studios is a full production services company for both television and film. We're located here in the south end of Denver. One of the biggest stages in the country that's retail, anywhere from L.A. to New York. We have five production stages. Each one of those stages has a control room attached. All the latest, greatest bells and whistles, everything you'd expect to have in a full-on production facility. We can do productions from start to finish, anywhere from taking international feeds down to editing, post-production, audio sweetening, you name it. We can do it all here, and we can distribute the content as well. One of the measures of success for us at Westwork Studios was to make sure that we provided the services our customers needed at a price they could afford. So in order to maintain that competitive nature, we need to be careful about how we spend our money. A solution doesn't just mean more boxes. It means the right boxes. It means the right devices. With AGA, it really began with their, their mini converters. No engineer should be without them. We need a variety of conversion boxes because we're a retail environment, and so we get a lot of different types of productions into our facility. A lot of times they need conversion from SD to HD. It could be a conversion from DVI to HD, SDI, baseband. A lot of audio where we're doing embedding audio or de-embedding on the other side. Something I can think of right off the top of my head is closed caption encoders. So I take one of the uh, D embedders and I pop that in line right before the caption encoder. I pick that off and I run that to uh, the phone interface. I take one little box, I put it in there and we're good to go. We have well over a hundred conversion throwdown boxes that, that we utilize at any given time. Anytime we go anywhere, we do remotes, we do any type of things like that. I always have a big bag of mini converters because they save the day. Basically anything anybody could throw at me signal wise, or signal transcode, I can handle it, and I can handle it with an AJA box. In our past, we've had mostly HD cam VTRs, and with the key pros being able to go to a file-based system, turning things around for our clients has been perfect for us. It's an extremely versatile, cost-effective way to do business. It's portable, it's recyclable, it's not videotape. Then we've actually migrated to the Key Pro racks, and the Key Pro racks are, are really great. And especially with the two drive capability, it's really a space saver, especially when you compare it to a HD cam deck. And another aspect is just power consumption. You know, a lot less power consumption for a Key Pro rack than it is for a deck. They do the majority of anything that a tape deck does, but there's no maintenance cost, there's no head cleaning, there's no replacing anything, there's no downtime. It's really saved us a lot of money on the engineering side as far as maintenance and time. The FS2s have been a, a huge success for us. I keep referring to it as the Swiss Army knife of devices. It's a single RU with two discrete frame sinks built into it. it comes standard with two power supplies, so there's redundancy. It's not an option. I don't have to pay for it. They're very reliable. They're very easy to set up and use. We see every format, aspect ratio, frame rate, you name it. I mean, we see it all. Having the ability to flip that into house standard or from house standard to the distribution format is essential. We have a client universal sports network and we'll bring in up to six feeds on a certain weekend. Utilizing a web-based remote to change configurations and presets is a great advantage for us. An engineer can go in, easily change the configuration or if there's a problem, see it, change it, and boom, we're ready to go for any kind of production. Westwork Studios within the Comcast Media Center is a 305,000 square foot technical operation. It's, it's expansive. So we have to traverse many studios, many different areas throughout the building, and copper is just not economical anymore. So fiber optic is the way to go. And the FS2s are great because that option for having the direct fiber connection on the back of the device does the optical to electrical conversion on board rather than having to rely on an external device to do that. It saves cost, it's one location to go to in case you have a problem, you're troubleshooting a single spot instead of multiple spots. It's a logical option that I'm surprised nobody else has come up with yet. The support from customer service is fantastic. I don't think you guys have ever not been there for us. AJ products are super reliable to begin with, so if you do even have to talk to support, they're very responsive and they've been great. They listen to the consumers, they listen to the people that are doing this stuff. And one thing they should pride themselves in is their customer service and their engineering support has been great. They'll take our ideas and put them into products that people use every day.